Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at ID World in Rio de Janeiro, and I'm joined by Peter Jacobson from Data Logic. Peter, thanks for stopping by to talk to me. A, a pleasure. I wanted to explore what was happening in terms of um, logistics and data and process with respect to postal innovation. There seems to be lots of change going on here worldwide. What are uh, you seeing? Well, post, post worldwide are going through tremendous changes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it started in Europe and elsewhere with a deregulation, privatization of posts, mm -hmm. so they're now competing. And they're all looking at e-commerce as, you know, the future road to success. And mm -hmm. many are doing very, very well. They're transitioning from the traditional letter business that the internet has somewhat replaced and is constantly driving the volume down to a world of packages. Okay. You know, delivering packages, moving packages around. Okay. And it's, it's exciting. Great change times. Great times. Okay. And do you think the national, the national post authorities have a competitive advantage over the, the kind of the, the private sector that we're used to seeing it, it, in this it's, area? It's country by country specific. Mm. The, one, the, the one advantage that posts generally have is their delivery network. Yes. This network you know, is out there three days a week, five days a week, to some, in the U.S. still six days a week. They stop at every household. So they, in fact, can carry packages along with their other mail to these various households. In fact, in many countries, the posts are in partnerships with the private couriers right. actually doing the delivery in parts of the country. Okay. So, so, so are they doing the logistics or are they doing the last mile or? Both. both. It's, it's different. I mean, in some countries, they're doing the whole thing. They're in direct competition with, with the big, the big, some of the big-name couriers, the UPS, mm. FedEx. DHLs okay. of the world. In other countries, they partner, and in some countries, the one I'm most familiar with, they do both. Okay. They do the last mile delivery. They have product line that they call it Parcel Select, mm -hmm. and they also have their own Religious Parcel Post service. service. Okay, and that's the U.S. We're talking that's about. That's the U.S. There. Their case. Yeah. Okay, and in that case, I mean, in the postal world, you've got these kind of these two trends. Obviously, the letter post. Declining, declining yeah, with exception, yeah. declining. Yeah, yeah, and declining at different rates. I spoke to someone earlier from South Africa, and they didn't see any decline until 2008. So they were yeah, nicely there's, there's exception, the there's exception. Uh, but then the rise of the rise of e-commerce, that direct fulfillment yeah. that's required there. Um, are they are they are they able to to see through the strategy to figure out? what they have to become because it is a real change yeah i mean it depends it, but you know generally most posts are laying out or have laid out a strategy mm -hmm. that actually goes beyond their borders i mean there are many posts now that have set up operations in other countries to to you know to get the business mm. and uh, you know belgian post for example yeah. is not only you know very active the uk is very active but they have set up branches outside of their borders to get customers. Okay. So it's the poster actually, they do partner, but they also now compete for, for, for the business. Yeah. So now they're change. competing, does that, does that mean from a consumer point of view, it's driving up service, driving yeah. down price, all exactly. that stuff? Exactly. It's, all, it's, a, it's basically service, it's basically price, but information. I mean, I think, you know, you hear it here today. I mean, we're talking about information, what I call innovation. Okay. I know this is ID world, but it's about getting more information, make cases as a byproduct of what they're doing, mm. but how do you turn that information into greater levels of customer service? Mm. And that, that's what it's all about. Okay, and that's kind of value, valued information in terms of people's buying habits, people's behaviors that, that might, yeah. might reflect offers there. Keeping promoted. people informed, yeah. payment methods, billing, me I mean, it's just an endless, yeah. value. and we, they, you know, is a lot of it too is, <clears throat> You can get notice today that your package is ready to be delivered. Mm. Where do you want it delivered? Yeah. yeah. So they can automatically reroute it to a parcel locker, to mm. your business, yeah. to your home, to a neighbor, hold it for one more day to deliver yeah. it. Yeah. All made through the power of information. Yeah. All gives you so it's really all gives you a lot of a lot of benefit. Yeah. And and we're 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 here in Brazil at the moment. What what's it look like down here in South America and specifically in Brazil? You know, Brazil I mean I I met with some of the people from Brazil here and they started in two oh eight, two thousand eight to see their letter mail declining. Mm. And they have, there's a gentleman here that basically is responsible for building the package business. And they are investing in, you know, package sorting technology here. Okay, okay. And, so they're, and they're, are, they, are they seeing competition from other oh yeah. postal providers? Yes, from other postal, like, less postal here, more the private couriers. Here. Okay. So it, it, 
it just it, it's a different market here. Yeah. But I think it, down in the future you will see, you know, some of the dominant posts in here in Latin America establishing themselves in a position of, you know, being the dominant post and basically moving things across borders. Yeah. We saw that in the Middle East, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, yeah, completely. It's a very innovative field yeah. out there, isn't yeah. it? So there's a lot going on. Last question. What does that mean to data logic in terms of uh, opportunity and demands? It means it's fantastic opportunities. I mean, we are seeing over the last couple of years, I focus internationally, mm. and we are seeing opportunities all the time. Small post, larger post, mm. you know, investing in... Uh, sorting technology, mm -hmm. information systems that support the thing. It's, yeah. it's been great for us. It's yeah. been a lot of good opportunities there. And, and what about demands? Is it, is it shifting your technology roadmap? Is it say, are they, are they make, making requests on you that, that you didn't expect? They're always stretching the envelope, mm -hmm. yes. I mean, people are always looking for something. You know, at one time, posts, when they were government, how much they spend, the return on the investment, Mm, and that yeah, was a secondary kind of consideration. Yeah. You know, here's the money the government gave me to spend. Today, they're looking at, you know, how do I get more value, provide greater service, you know, at the lowest cost. Yeah. I mean, and it's... And they're expected to come to you and expecting you to make them competitive as well. We, well, that's our job. We're pushed to, in our case, you know, we don't manufacture sorters. We sell different sorters that try to meet the needs of that hmm. particular customer. Yeah. And in some, case, in some cases, you know, we, we would start small and as they grow the business, we're able to show how they could move it forward. Yeah. That's very big. We're dealing with a customer now in Scandinavia who basically says our business is right here, but these are our projections. How do you take something we buy today? Yeah. We can't afford to spend tomorrow's money charge customers so we need to have something today that is scalable and yep. flexible design yeah so it's that customizable platform yeah. something that you can actually so have to a, and think up. about it it's a semi-manual solution becomes semi-automatic becomes fully automatic yeah. as the business grows yeah, yeah. So it's an exciting world I mean just yeah. the whole e-commerce world yeah. is expanding and it's a global business yeah and you've got to no. be there right alongside them getting the yeah. voice of the customer people are great okay great Peter thanks for your time good to see you and Philip, enjoy the a great pleasure thank you